What's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today we're taking a look at something a little bit different for me. We're taking a look at the Oppo Reno 2Z mobile phone. Now, I don't normally do mobile phone reviews. In fact, this is the first time I've ever done one and Oppo didn't even send it to me. I, in fact, bought this for myself a good few months ago now. It's been my personal phone and I've liked it that much. I thought it was time to do a video on it and sing its praises. So what is the Oppo Reno 2Z? But basically, it's a large, quite large, six and a half inch Android mobile phone from the guys at Oppo that comes in at just £330. So, first of all, we'll go through what you get included in the box. I do have to admit, I have unfortunately lost the one thing I really wanted to show. But in the box, you do, of course, get a mobile phone, some paperwork, things like that. I haven't gone and got the charger and things out. But there's not a massive amount in here, but you don't expect it. Headset, phone charger, cable, USB-C cable of course. But the one thing I really wanted to show that really impressed me for a £335 phone, they include a case. Just one of those little sort of like bumper cases that goes over the back and around the sides. But they include a case which I thought was a really nice addition to see. Rather than for the likes of Apple charging you 50 quid for what is effectively a little bit of plastic that costs pennies, Oppo actually throw one in, which also means that when you buy your nice shiny new phone, because this is a nice shiny new phone, although fingerprint magnet, you have a case to protect it. Rather than having to wait a week for the one that you bought from Amazon to arrive, it comes straight in the box. And yes, you can change it if you want to. I did. I went out and picked up one of these little gel bumpers and it sits in that because my phones leave a relatively rugged life with my day job. So I just picked up one of them from Amazon for about a pound. But it, yeah, it comes with a case. So the Oppo Reno 2Z. Let's have a quick look around the outside before we go into everything else. Starting at the bottom, we do have a headphone microphone jack, USB-C and a speaker grill on the bottom. If we take a look at the left hand side, we do have up and down volume um, buttons. On the top, at the moment, to you, absolutely nothing. I've just given it away. Uh, and there is a power button on this side. Okay, so on the back, then you have uh, four cameras. There's a 48 megapixel camera, an ultra wide, a black and white, um, little mirror, and a flash. And then the back has actually got quite a nice, it's actually, although it looks black, it is actually blue. And as light shines off it at different angles, hopefully you can see that in here. It outlines this quite well. Really nice little design. It's quite basic, quite simple, but sleek. So onto the screen area. The first thing that gives it away, if I turn it on, there's no notch, and this isn't Apple trickery by putting a black picture on there or anything like that. And there's no button. Because this camera is a pop-up camera, it has facial recognition, and the home button, well, there just isn't one, and it's actually got through screen fingerprint recognition. If I'm honest, that was the thing that sold it to, to me when I saw it. I saw this and I was like, big screen, no obstructions, I'm having it. And at 330 quid, I was completely sold. So the phone itself it is a six and a half inch screen. It does have 128 gigabytes of storage. It does have eight gigabytes of RAM. It's got a 4,000 milliamp battery which I've actually found that in real life use, I can actually go two full days without charging this thing. Most, my, my iPhone, even from the day I bought it, day in, a, day in a morning, if I was lucky, two full days was not a chance. This thing, two full days, no problems. It's got a really bright screen and things like that. Never had any problems with, with it being too dim or anything like that. So one thing I did miss was on the side. On this side here, we do actually have the SIM card slot. It's also dual SIM with a micro SD. So you can have two SIM cards and a micro SD card all in that little slot there. Now, regions may vary. Here in the UK, it's a dual SIM card phone. I do know some regions, things like that, do get different phones. I'm not sure on the rules for this one, but I know some do. But overall, the actual phone has been really nice to use. I have been in an, an iPhone user for quite a long time. I've had most of them since the 3, 3G. Um, I've had pretty much all of them since that. 
it got to the price of, I'm not spending a thousand pound on a phone. I saw this, I was like, yep, that will do. Now I have actually got a um, tempered glass protector on here, so it is even worse of a finger magnet, but the screen on it has been fantastic. It does pick up fingerprints, the same with the back, but all glass phones do. I don't care what you say you've applied to this thing to stop it from being a fingerprint, they all are. Um, the black, well, I've mostly got it in a case, so it's irrelevant, and the fronts, they just pick it up anyway. But I'm not normally Android, but this has actually really swayed me. It's easy to use, it's quick, for, for what is meant to be considered a cheap phone, it's quick, apps load fast, you can have loads open. Games, they all play, I've had a quick bash of a few things like the new Call of Duty, Fortnite, Mobile, they all play absolutely fine on this thing. Big screen, easy to hold, I must admit without a case it feels fragile, um, purely because it's quite thin, um, quite light, and it feels like you're likely to drop it. I do always recommend just stick them in a little bumper, something like that, it just makes them a bit easier to grip. But the Oppo Reno 2Z has been fantastic for me. Now what I will do, I'm going to stick a couple of pictures up that I snapped a little minute ago, um, just to show you the phone camera itself, because that was one of the things that really impressed me since having it. The, the camera on it is amazing. It does have what is called portrait mode, and I've actually got myself a, well, I say got myself, me and my wife, we had a young daughter a couple of years ago now nearly, and like, the family photos this thing takes, they're just fantastic. And it works in both portrait and off of the main camera. You can then just take standard photos, you can do videos, it's got loads of different modes, they've all got it now. But um, there is also an ultra wide mode, which I don't really use much. It's a bit of a fisheye mode. One of these other lenses is effectively an ultra wide. Bit of a fisheye lens. It has come in handy though if I've not been able to get quite far enough away from a group of people, for example. But if I'm sitting here with it like this, I can pretty much see almost sort of like 90 degrees either side. Um, it's a very good wide angled lens. Um, video does all the way up to 4K. It does have a HDR on the photos and things they've all got. Um, to be honest, at the budget end of the market, they're all relatively similar. But it was they, this one did have a few standout features which I thought were amazing. It did have NFC, which a few of them didn't. It had the in-screen thumbprint and the pop-up camera. So no notch or anything like that. I couldn't find anything else on the market. There wasn't much on the market at any price point that had everything that this has. So now down to downfalls of this phone. And if I'm honest, I've only really found one and it's actually a missing feature which I did use on my last iPhone. It doesn't have wireless charging. It's the only thing it doesn't have, but it doesn't have wireless charging. Is it a deal breaker? No, not a problem. The battery lasts a while. It's got quick charge three, so you can plug it in for 15 minutes and get yourself going for the next couple of hours if you really need to. But there we go. There was one other little thing. Doesn't at the moment have Android 10. Still on Android 9, I do believe Oppo will be releasing Android 10 for this phone though. So there we go guys. The Oppo Reno Z. It is a massive thumbs up. If you are in the market for a sub £500 phone, go and have a look at it. I picked my one up from the car phone warehouse. It was an online only one at the time. I don't know whether that's going to change. Um, but I just ordered it online, they stuck it in the post, it arrived the next day. So, Oppo Reno 2Z, definitely a big thumbs up. Um, as always guys, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Phones are not my forte, as I said, this is the first phone I've ever reviewed. Probably will be the last one until I upgrade this because they're not my speciality. I just thought I'd give this thing a shout out because I really liked it. So there we go guys, that is me all for today. As always, if you want to see more of me, click the subscribe button, click the little notification bell, and I will be back tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, next week. Thank you very much, bye for now.